Water is vital to all aspects of our lives, including work, home, play and our natural environment. The Central Coast Water Supply System is the third largest in New South Wales and serves the region's growing population. Water's incredible journey to your tap starts further back than you may expect. It begins back in our catchments. A catchment is an area where water is collected by the natural landscape. The Central Coast has six surface water catchment areas that provide drinking water to our region. In these catchments, rain that falls over the land will run off downhill to where it naturally collects in creeks and rivers and seeps into the ground where it is stored as groundwater. Some of this water gets stored in our dams at Mangrove Creek, Māori and Mooney Mooney. When we have less than average rainfall, especially in times of drought, our catchment areas become drier, so when the rains do come, the soils in our catchments act like a sponge, soaking up moisture. This can be why, after a heavy rainfall, our dams don't always rise as much as we might expect. Mangrove Creek Dam is our largest dam, as the deep, narrow valley of Mangrove Creek provides an ideal location for water storage. The dam can hold approximately 190,000 megalitres of water. That's about 76,000 Olympic-sized pools. It provides 93% of our water storage capacity and is our bank that we withdraw from during times of lower water availability. Although the catchment of Mangrove Creek is quite small and not much water naturally collects in this dam, the combined catchments of Wyong River and Arimba Creek are very large. During high flows, a greater volume of water can be pumped from these waterways into Māori Dam, which fills up quickly due to its small size. Excess water can then be transferred from Māori Dam to Mangrove Creek Dam for storage via the 21km Māori Mangrove Link Pipeline. When the storage level in Māori Dam decreases, Mangrove Dam can send water back to Māori Dam based on demand needs. But how does water from our catchments end up at our home? Well, water sourced from our rivers, creeks, dams and groundwater bores travels through pipelines to one of our water treatment facilities that operate 365 days a year. Summersby Water Treatment Facility receives raw water from Mangrove Creek Weir and Mooney Mooney Dam, whilst Māori Water Treatment Facility can receive water from either Mangrove Creek Dam or Māori Dam which has been pumped from Arimba Creek and Wyong River. We also treat groundwater to a high standard at the Woi Woi Bore Water Treatment Facility. At our water treatment facilities, water goes through a series of complex treatment processes to make it safe for you to drink. Water must travel through pre-treatment processes and filters to eliminate sediments, before it is then dosed with chlorine for disinfection, lime for pH correction and fluoride for dental hygiene. Then through a series of tanks, valves, pipes and pumps, we can deliver clean and safe drinking water to your taps at home that complies with the quality standards within the Australian Drinking Water Guidelines. The Central Coast and Hunter region share a two-way pipeline connection. This allows the sharing of treated drinking water to best utilise the available storage and runoff available between the two systems. There are many current initiatives to increase the resilience of our water supply system. Stormwater is harvested and utilised in the irrigation of some parks, gardens and other non-drinking water purposes. This also reduces the demand on the potable water system. Additionally, Central Coast Council have water recycling plants at all our sewage treatment plants. Some of our plants provide highly treated, recycled water to our power plants, as well as some playing fields and golf courses. Our water is a precious resource. If we each just use a little less every day, we can continue to support our growing community, local wildlife and environment, and help secure our water supply for years to come.